Hey guys, I'm back. Alright, so what happened was, about a month or so ago, I turned on my computer, and I got this message. And tell me if you guys have got this one also. But it says, you know, it was very official, like all computer viruses are. And it said, like, this is the FBI, and it even, you know, the virus even hacked into my, uh, my little webcam, and had a picture of me there and saying that I owe three hundred dollars and it gave a list of the possibilities why I owe that money to the FBI and kitty porn's off the obviously one of them and hacking and all that stuff. Um, my dad got the same thing, not quite as sophisticated as, as the virus I got, but he was actually considering he's like, Mike, should I pay this virus? I don't want the FBI after me <laughs> and and I explained to him it's probably some gang in Croatia or some shit, you know, just trying to extort money, but the problem is it shuts down your computer, and, uh, you can't, you know, it, you can't do anything, and I don't know enough about computers, uh, so I would take it somewhere to get fixed, so, what a pain in the butt, but that's what I've been doing, um, today's, uh, video, I want to kind of focus on this, uh, this one guy's string of bands, or some of his bands, called, uh, his name is Gru Dare Gruesome, or Gru the Gruesome, um, it's Dutch, he's, uh, is it Dutch? No, it's Danish, excuse me, he's from, uh, Denmark, and, uh, he's had a, a string of bands, uh, the first one I heard about Wolf Brone, or no, excuse me, Wolf Slayer, uh, I was watching, uh, I think Matt bases one of his videos like a while ago. Uh, I think he goes by YouTube name uh, Witch Clan Cult or Witch Clan Horde. Witch Clan Horde, and he described this band as like black metal with maybe some incantation influence, and uh, especially like like a couple years ago, anytime you. You would hear in, I would hear incantation influence. I would immediately go check it out, and uh, a lot of times I'd be disappointed. But this time I wasn't. Now I wouldn't so much as characterize them as incantation influenced. It's uh, I would. Well, I got this album here called Odin. Each one's different. Has its own blood splatters. Like, you know, it's a very cool double album, and. Um, Gatefold, very, very good album. Uh, it's really dirty, really gritty, black metal, but they have, they have two sing singers, a high raspy dude, you know, typical black metal dude, and then more of a, I wouldn't call it incantation, but, you know, a lower voiced guy also in there. Um, if any of this, like, background information I say during this video is wrong, don't kill me, you know, I'm, this is just stuff that... I picked up, so I might be incorrect about some things, but I latched onto this guy, Gru, who, who's in this band, and, and this band just blew me away. It's like, uh, whenever someone says the words melody in black metal, I typically run the other way. Uh, definitely not melodic singing, but these guitar hooks and riffs are just so massive, and they have like this hint of melody, but it doesn't take away from the griminess and the grit of this recording at all. Um, it's melody in the way that maybe Deathspell Omega, like, will, will put in some of their faster songs, like, uh, like, Chaining the Ketchaton. Uh, that little 20-minute song of theirs has some, some melodies towards the beginning that I would say sort of sound like the kind of melodic I'm going with, with Wolf Slayer, but it is just, you know, downright awesome, freaking raging black metal, and I could also compare to them as a much, much grittier Van Held, maybe, with more black metal influence in the fact, in the sense that the songs are songs, you know, like, uh, you can distinguish one from the other. And, uh, I just can't give this album, Odin, high enough praise. Um, also, the, it's a double album. The other album is, uh, their first band, Legion. 
uh, what they, I think they were just, it's the same band, they were just called Legion before, uh, before Wolf Slayer, and, um, it might be a little bit more death metal influence than Wolf Slayer, but it, the, the recording's really shoddy, but it's excellent stuff, man. I got it also on cassette, and, uh, you know, it's a really good, it's a, it's a demo, but it's, it's really, really good. This thing came with posters and all that. So, so this itself is awesome. And then, like, I have, I think Wolf Slayer put out, like, three things totally, and one was a split album, um, with this band Bloodfest, which also features Gru the Gruesome. And, uh, this is... I would say it's very similar to Wolf Slayer, maybe a little bit more black metal influence, but once again, you just have these massive riffs and this really dirty, powerful, you know, music. And if you if you're if you have to have a, a clean recording, this is not for you. This is like like uh, this says do do do. Hold on. It says, recorded at Flem Studio, mixed and uh, recorded live on a Fostex 284 track. Only an extra guitar and effect vocals were added to this. So, it's demo quality, but I just fucking love it. I just think it's great. It's really, it's just real sinister, real raw. So, I was cruising on Metalum. Well, I, and also, I got like several Bloodfest albums. You know, I got one on tape. You know, I got a couple CDs. The uh, I you, you the first thing I picked up from them was a uh, was an album. All their stuffs in Danish, so I don't know, but it was an album from like two years ago on iTunes actually. Yes, I use iTunes a lot. If if, but they don't really usually have much that I want. But they had this Bloodfest album. That's how I got into them, and it was excellent. But like I said, I was also cruising on Metalum looking for more that this guy did. And I came across a band, Luciation. Now, I was being familiar with Wolf, Wolf Slayer and Bloodfest. You know, I kind of had what I thought was an idea of what this band would sound like. Luciation. And um, I got it home. I look at it. I, pop, I throw it on. And I was definitely surprised. This is the murkiest piece of filth. Just evil. Like, uh samples but well used samples that aren't like you know that aren't like mortician samples that aren't like longer than the song itself these samples are evil they're well used they're short uh they're within the music you know what i mean um it's once again it's like bloodfest in the sense that it's like a basement sounding recording but that just adds to the the uh the evilness of this album it is it is slower in most part. It reminds me a lot of uh, impetuous ritual. Uh, maybe slowed down a little bit, like and maybe even a little bit more murkier with samples added. You know, maybe like an impetuous ritual mix, mixed with like a a, a, a sado uh, sado goat sado. Say, uh, you, the band that was also Sado Goat after Sado Goat, but it reminds me a lot of that, and um, and I was just amazed. I was blown away by this, and I ordered something else that's on the way from them, but they don't have that much out. But you know, everything this Gru Gru guy touches turns to absolute gold, in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to, uh, I know he has some more bands out there, and I'm looking forward to finding them. So um, I'm going to make some more videos here pretty soon. Uh, also, I don't want this communication to be one way. If you if you have something that you like, you kind of have an idea of what style stuff I like. If, if you have a recommendation that I should hear or something, you know, please let me know. You know, I love, I love hearing new bands. Thanks for watching.